<laughs> there we go. We do seem to work now. Hello, welcome back to EGL7. You are watching the Call of Duty tournament sponsored by My Cats, and I'm here with Benson. How are you doing, Benson? I'm good. How are you? I'm not too bad, thank you. Um, yeah, we're just waiting on the guys setting up now. Uh, waiting on everyone to get ready. Uh, Daredevil's uh, winking at me. <laughs> if we can get the lights turned down the left -hand side of the room, that would be good. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, we are just waiting on this game starting up. It's going to be Fear taking on PMP Mythics. We're going to go through the maps. CTF Dome first. Who are you predicting to take that one, Benson? It's a tough call. Really is a tough call. Obviously, we've got Fear coming in unseeded, so it has made their sort of route into this tournament very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. PMP Mythics, you look at the lineup they've got. I mean, phew. Yeah. It's a top quality lineup. It's going to be a close game. We are talking like a pretty much a Goliath team, but then you see Team Fear coming into it, just Obviously. being one of them teams throughout Call of Duty, just being one of the standalone teams up in America there. So, yeah, we are just waiting on the lobby all being set up and the players getting this started. And, uh, yeah, let's just have a quick look around the room. Uh, I don't know if much of it has been shown via the camera, but, uh, yeah, the COD stage is in full flow at the moment. That seems to be going on. Uh, I did see Link playing over there. Currently, uh, Prophecy are actually losing their first game. They did lose their first map to, uh, I wasn't too sure, a Team Assassin, I think they were called. Yeah, it's Assassin's Team. I was, I was watching a little bit, but it was quite a good game, to be fair. So yeah. that could be a massive upset in this Oh, it could be. Prophecy will hopefully bounce back. Of course, there you can see on the stream, that is the, that is the guys watching the Prophecy game. You can just see a few of the Prophecy team members there. There's Swizz. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Michael. <laughs> Let's have a look around, and here we go along to the COD stage. We see a team playing on there, and a few more of the stages around here as well. Of course, we don't have as many stages as we do last time because we don't have as many teams as we did last time. Mm. Because that, that that was a stupid amount of teams, if anything. <laughs> 113 <laughs> did actually turn up, but of course, we will be playing CTF on the first map. Uh, of course, and the rules and the settings on the right hand side no flag limit, two five minute rounds. If the score is tied after both rounds, the teams will play a stopwatch. Uh, could you explain stopwatch to oh. everybody, please? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Oh, stopwatch. Um, essentially, a, a stopwatch is if the map is drawn at the end, the, the whole map is completely replayed. Uh, both teams will spawn top team, and whoever can cap the flag the quickest time will win. Yeah, we've just been given the two-minute sign, so we should be getting this started up quite soon. Um, anything else you're enjoying about the event, Benson? Because obviously this is your first land. It is. You've been I'm thrown busy. right in at the deep end, haven't you? <laughs> No, it's great. I mean, when the camera's panning around, you can see all the amazing things that we've got. I mean, we've got the, the scuff stand over in the corner. Yeah. So what's that? We've got the Rejo Coffee. Oh, I tell you what, have you tried the, the coffee yet? No, I didn't have any coffee, but I have been drinking the uh, the peach iced tea, and it Ooh. was uh, simply phenomenal, to be honest. Yeah, just a shout out to a couple more of our sponsors. Obviously, we have Rejo and Scuff. We obviously have Rockstar, who have provided a lot of energy drinks for us this <laughs> weekend. Squid Grip, Rockstar. who... Oh, Rockstar has been good. It I've is, been enjoying good, that. I was trying to get to sleep last night, and it just <laughs> was not happening. And, uh, yeah, we have Squid Grip, who are the sponsors of the MVP of the tournament. Yeah, so, obviously, sweet. the MVP will walk away with a special prize along with Squid Grips. And, of course, we have the Gamer Gloves, who are supporting the COD stage. Yep. They are available. COD stage looks really nice. It really does, nice. it does. I, I am enjoying it. Ainsley's done a good job over yes. there, however much I hate to say it. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, that's the uh, PMP and Mythics lineup. We are just waiting on both teams getting ready. I think they are just sorting out their classes. Yeah, they're just sorting out the classes at this moment in time. And then the game will be started. So, um, predictions. I'm going to say Fiat to walk away. 2-0. Two, two nil. Really? 2-0. Two nil. Can you honestly... Uh, really? Yeah, really. I, I can't, honestly can't believe you said that. I mean, Fiat, looking at the, the route that they're going to have to take in, in this championship is going to be really, really tough. Mm -hmm. If they can get through this, they've got another tough game. But it's dig is it Dignitas? I believe. Dig Dignitas next, yeah, that'll be a good game. I think they are actually staying on main stage for all that. So obviously we have some more great games coming from live at EGL7, sponsored by a Mad Cats, the Modern Warfare 3 Championship. Just having a little bit of a pan around there. There it's Fizzup. Killer. Ricky. And the man himself. <laughs> John. I think one thing we can definitely guarantee is this is going to be a very, very good game. Uh, There's these good-looking fellows coming up. Oh, they've oh, panned off they us. they panned away. No. We, <laughs> must, we mustn't be good enough. We mustn't be good enough. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that camera moving towards it's, me? It's slowly there moving its way. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm quite scared. <laughs> Raza, get out of the way. It's just going to be a, a shot of the back of his head in a second. <laughs> the there, we the there we go. There we go. Back on stream. <laughs> Raza. Funny guy. Anyway, we are still waiting on Daredevil creating his classes. He's taking forever, obviously. But, um, yeah, so far, no upsets as of yet. 
as of yet, but like it you said could. before, Prophecy dropping the first map. Yeah, of course, That's with this side of the bracket as well, that just throws things so up in the air. Mm. I mean, they could come through that loser's bracket and really hurt some teams coming through that if Definitely. they do get beat. Of course they are. They only did lose the first map, and I was speaking to them yesterday, and they are expecting a top three place. Really? Which well, I think is it is feasible for them. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's, uh, it, it could definitely happen. I mean, they obviously went on to win I-Series. So, obviously, they're going to come in here with a lot of confidence, and I think we are actually ready to start the game. Just seen the thumbs up in the distance. Of course, me and Benson are uh, repping the uh, Mad Cats. Oh, yeah. Mad Cats. I've got the red one, though. Not yeah. happy about that. Well, I do apologise about you that. You stole that. You stole <laughs> it away from me. Oh, I know, I but I don't look good in red. Yeah, neither do I. No. I like the black one. Well, that's you your problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, the map is going to get in the way. It's going to be CTF on Dome. It's going to be close. I mean, I'm really, really excited for this. Yeah, you are joining us here. EGL7, Mad Cats, 1 of 3 Championship. Coming at you with commentary is me and Benson. And Fira.